Hello and welcome once again. I'm going to show you now that you've created an account with Turnitin based on the last video, I'm going to show you how you go about actually submitting your papers. So what you first want to do is the first time when you were first creating an account, you went over here and you clicked on create an account. And that's where you filled in all your personal information, your name, your email address, and the ID and password that I gave you for your particular class. Once you've done all that, what you want to do is go to turnitin.com when you're ready to submit your papers, and you want to go instead over here to where it says log in. Now I have mine already set up here. Now here, you want to use the email address and password that you created for your own individual account. Okay, you no longer need the ID and password that I initially gave you. That was just to initially get into the class. Now from now on, now that you're actually in my class, you're going to use your email address and your password. So I've already got mine set in, so I'm just gonna go down here and click on log in. Once you're logged in, yours is gonna look a little bit different because I'm actually the instructor. So let me show you what you'll actually see as a student. So as a student, this is what you'll see. You'll see the name of your college or school You'll see the class ID number that I gave you to get into the class. You'll see the actual class itself. In this case, yours is different. This is just an example class. Uh, and then you'll see the instructor, which should say my name, and then it should say active, and then you have the option to drop the class. Please don't do that. Um, but once you're ready to submit a paper, you'll click on your class. Don't click on my name. If you click on my name, it's going to open up an email screen, your Outlook or whatever your default email address is, and it's going to attempt to email me. So this is only if you have questions or whatever. To submit papers, you want to go over here to the class name, click on that. From here, you should see whatever the assignment is. In your case, it'll say whatever the different assignments are. Okay, it'll have the start date for when the assignment was started, the due date for when the assignment is due, and the post date. And that's when it's going to finish posting everyone's final submissions. So uh, if it's calculating your uh, plagiarism percentage or whatever, um, it'll post it no later than that date. Okay, so when you're ready to submit, you come over here and you click on the blue submit button. Okay, you're going to give it your first name and last name, which should already be defaulted on here. You're going to give it a title. I'm just going to call this practice. Okay, now you have several options depending on where you actually stored the file. So if the file is off a flash drive or it's on your, your hard drive or whatever you want to choose from this computer. If you wrote it in Google Docs or some sort of Google program, you choose from Google Drive. And then from here, it basically just works just like an um, attachment for an email or whatever. One other important thing to note is up here where it says submit, you have an option for single file upload upload, or cut and paste upload. You always want to do single file upload because that'll work it just like I showed you with um, like an attachment. If you do cut and paste, it'll open up this box here and then it'll ask you to cut and paste your file into that box. And that's, that's going to mess up your, your um, formatting. It's going to mess up your your margins and everything. So always choose single file upload. Once you've selected it, and I'm just going to choose something real quick. Now let me let me choose from Google Drive. Just to show you how this all works. I'm going to choose something. And I'm going to submit this. Why not? Okay. There it is, and then you'll notice this button, which wasn't lit up before, is now lit up. I can now click on Upload. It'll take it a minute. It'll come to this screen right here. It'll say the author, which is you, the assignment title. Okay, uh, that's what I called the assignment. Here's your submission title. That's what you named it. Here's your file name, and so on and so forth. 
okay? It gives you a preview of the actual assignment. Then you click on confirm. So it hasn't submitted it yet. This is just a preview screen. This is basically just it saying, okay, this is what it's gonna look like when you submit it. Is that what you want it to look like? Go ahead and click on confirm. Congratulations, your submission is complete. If you see this screen right here, you are done. You are good to go. If you don't, this is where you need to make sure that you used an email address that you actually check because something is glitched if you don't see this. And so you'll either have to submit it again or you'll have to look through your email to see if it sent you a confirmation. Okay, this is your digital receipt. You can print a copy of this receipt. Uh, you can take a screenshot of it or you could just, you know, whatever. When you are done, you're gonna click on return to this assignment list if you want, and now you can see the assignment has been submitted. And you'll know it's been submitted because it has this little similarity percentage plus a color, okay? It says this is the percentage of the text in your paper that match sources in our database. So basically what this is saying is that this paper that I have right here has 0% similarity to anything else in their database. Okay, blue is good, green is good. Yellow means, okay, the percentage is a little bit high. You may want to go back and fix it. Uh, and then red means this is way too similar to something else that's already in their database. You'd better go back into your file and submit it. If the due date has not come and gone, this will still be submitted and you can always resubmit. So let's say that this is yellow or red and this percentage number is really high. You can always resubmit and it'll basically save over top of whatever you've already submitted. So that's one way that you can keep doing that. So if you wait till last minute and you get a really high percentage rate, well, then you're in trouble. But if you give it enough time before the actual due date, you can have a chance to submit as many times as you want. You can view it again, and you can download the file in case you've lost your flash drive or whatever else. And that's really all there is to it. And so that's how you submit your papers. Thank you.